against the Grizzlies. I'm Dan Stevens, and joining me is my good friend, Peter O'Keefe. Well, Peter, let's see today's lineups. The sheer greatness of these two players placed them dead center in our spotlight. They're the kind of guys, let me say it, who raise everyone's game around them. But their opponent is packed with talent as well. With these two players, you have more than just greatness. You have contagious enthusiasm and a bottomless will to win. Yes, indeedy, Peter. Now let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Made it to the show. Ready to go? Gentlemen, please make your call. Heads. It is tails. We'll kick. The home team have won the toss and select a kick. Frazier sends it away to begin the game. Willis fields the opening kickoff at the 11. Tackled at the 33. Chad Willis took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The Grizzlies will begin the drive at their 33-yard line. The Grizzlies. Number 75 makes the sack at the 28. Number 75 hauled down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. Bradley tackles him for a short loss. Eric Bradley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Third down from the shotgun. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Lyle makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. 
Jets' Dwayne Lyle came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 28 fields it at the 34. Tackled hard at the 39. Number 28 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team offense takes the field and they will start at their 39 yard line. Number 41 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 41 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. From 39 yards. Number 41 tackles him for a short loss. Number 41 would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third and 10 from 39 yards. Number 10 catches it left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Sam Miles laid this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. And three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First down with the tight end right. Number 80 catches it in the flat, and that's good for six. Number 80 was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three from the Grizzlies for yard line. But do you play run or flood the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to do both right here. Number 42 played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third and two. Number 10 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 10 got open on that last play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. What an opportunity, but it stays as only an opportunity. That would have been a touchdown. That's like taking points off the board. Fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. 
Brock on the hold. Frazier from 20 yards, and they take the lead. Andre Frazier booted a short one through the uprights. Hey, it's three points no matter how close you are. Frazier kicks it off. Willis fields it way back at the nine. Tackled at the 31. Chad Willis was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Grizzlies, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 31-yard line. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball's caught at the 29, tackled at the 38. Lance Tate sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, yeah, that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. Second down, two wideouts on the field. And that brings up first down. First and ten. Brooks throws a heater, and it's caught at the 49. Finally stopped at the 47. That will bring up first down. Leonardo Simon easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. It's the call on first down and heads left. Ground to a halt at the 38. Lance Tate took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Tate gets the call again and heads out right. Tackled at the 36. First down. Hey. First and 10. Ball at the 36 yard line. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, Grizzlies. Warren Brooks zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. 
They keep doing plays like this, and he could be in big trouble. His first huge connection of the day was two inches from the sun, I swear. All right, settle down. Slight exaggeration there, big guy. All right, that was a big play. This defense better watch themselves. The line has just been drawn. Number 30 takes his first carry of the game and gets past the line. Tackled at the one. Second and goal. Ball at the one yard. Down! Sit. They get in here! I'm taking two! I'm taking two! Tate picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Lance Tate didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Hauls him down in the backfield, and that moves them farther away from the goal line. That will bring up fourth and goal. Number 70 would not be denied and dropped them for a huge loss. Big play. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Fourth down, goal to go. Kennedy from 18 yards, and it's good! Kyle Kennedy knocked in an easy short one for three points. You can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he'd made that. The Grizzlies are set for the kicker. Number 28, deep to receive. Kennedy kicks it away. Number 28 fields the kickoff at the 10. Drop down at the 31. Number 28 would have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The away team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 31-yard line. Number 59 chases him down and makes the tackle just behind the line. Number 59 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Here we go. Here we go. Miles fires this one over the middle, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Warren Brooks ran his route inside, looked back for the ball, but could not reel it in. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Bacon cracks him down and sacks him for a loss at the 22. Fourth down coming up. Willie Bacon goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Sacks don't get much easier than that. They pushed them back even farther. And, Peter, could this fourth down get any longer? Well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Number eight lines up for the punt. Number eight gets the snap and punts it away. Willis deals the punt at the 41. Tackled at the 44. Chad Willis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt.
The Grizzlies send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 44-yard line. Fumble! They get it back. Tate ends up losing five on the play, and that brings up second down. Lance Tate fumbled, but was able to keep the mistake from becoming a debacle by snatching it back. Still, they're not given the impression of a smoothly humming offense. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Tate gets the call again and heads up field. Chase down at the 49. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> and that'll do it for quarter number one, and we're all tied. Marino makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Dan Marino anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Oh yeah, this one's mine. This one's mine. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 28 falls it in at the 11. Brought down at the 15. Number 28 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their own 15-yard line. Fletcher catches it in the flat and he's looking for room, forced out at the 22. Jason Fletcher made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Second and two from 22 yard. Down! Six! Spray! Miles tosses it down the left side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Sam Miles gambles big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you've got it. So far, he's got 88 yards and no interceptions. Number 42 will get the carry on first down and rambles for about five. Number 42 will get the carry. Second down, one man back. Miles lets it go here, and it's incomplete. Sheldon Hilton just flailed them. Horrible lapse in concentration.
third and five from the Grizzlies 49 yard line. Number 22 tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 22 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number eight lines up for the punt. Willis is deep to receive. You're too slow! You're too slow! Number eight gets the ball and punts it away. Willis fields the punt at the 12. Tackled at the 16. Chad Willis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Grizzlies take the field and will start out at their own 16-yard line. Lavera takes the sack at the 12. Jacob Rivera just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Brooks throws a heater right sideline and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Leonardo Simon had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. Well, not much of a game there and they will face third down. Third and long too, Dan. Big play coming up. it away on the coverage incomplete fourth down coming up Kalika Jasper knocked that pass down and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him well the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation and it will bring up fourth down number three lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away oh yeah this was mine this was mine Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 28 holds it in at the 48. Tackled at the 45. Number 28 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at the 45-yard line. <laughs> Number 42 gets the ball and heads left, brought down at the 41. Second and five from the Grizzlies, 41 yard line. Down! Six! Spread! Spread! Long right! Long right! I'm back! I'm back! I got the ball! Long ball, top and way back at 59. No down on the court. Third down, five yards to go. They 
broken. Makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Willie Bacon couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Number eight lines up to punt after the three and out. Willis is deep to receive. Number eight gets the ball and punts it away. Mike Townsend manages to catch this very nice punt, but the kicking team is there to make sure the catch is about all he gets. Not much pickup on that run back. The Grizzlies' offense comes out backed up against their own goal line. They will start at their own one-yard line. Drop down, and that will be a safety. Mike Townsend comes off the line like a hungry rhino looking for that safety. And he gets it, hitting him in the end zone for two. You can't coach that. That's his second tackle so far. The Grizzlies are kicking off. Number 28, back for the return. Number three kicks it off. Number 28 hauls it in at the 22. 40, dragged down at the 41. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their 41-yard line. Number 42 picks up a yard on the play and that brings up second down. Second and nine. Ball at the 42 yard line. Miles passes a high, long one, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. And Sam Miles zings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, he could be in big trouble. Good grab on that play. It didn't go for a whole lot of distance, but it kept the ball moving. He's doing all right with the short throw, but there's nothing really to write home about. First down with the tight end right. Number 86 reels in the football and picks up four on the play. Number 86 must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. Right there, he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple yeah. of yards. That's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense. They tried to stop him, but just couldn't get it done. coverage incomplete fourth down coming up number 22 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there that was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated the d is showing excellent fundamentals right here fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field
Frazier kicks from 39 yards out and he knocks it through the uprights. Andre Frazier sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal. Straight down the pike. The kickoff. Willis back to the seat. Frazier kicks it away. Willis catches it back at the 7. Dodges a tackle, dragged down at the 31. Chad Willis got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Grizzlies take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their 31-yard line. Brooks zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 54 anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, tight end to the left. Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Chris Brandon didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Brooks throws a bullet and gets caught at the 34, and he stopped right there. It'll be fourth down. Leonardo Simon ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Nothing doing there, fourth and long coming up. Yeah, the offense didn't really execute like they wanted to there. Number three lines up for the punt. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Number 28 fields the punt at the 30. Pop hard at the 34. Number 28 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The away team will start the drive at their 34-yard line. Number 42, bulldozes right of center and picks up eight yards on the play. Number 42 gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. 42 yards. Number 42 carries it for the ninth time and maybe picks up one on the play. Kevin Robinson has planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Third and one from 43 yards. Number 42 takes it across the line of scrimmage and converts the third down. 
And this is really a tremendous run here. It all starts with getting up to speed extremely fast before the D can really get it together. The blocking helps him get a little momentum going, and then he's smart enough to make the right running choices downfield. Oh, he's so dangerous when he busts loose like that. A highlight real play. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 42 picked up about seven, and that brings up second down. Number 42 played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three from the Grizzlies, 31 yards. Number 42 gets the call on second down and picks up a couple. Number 59 just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Number 42 has his number called on third down and jukes to a first down. Number 42 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Number 42 picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Second down, two receivers to the left. Number 42 carries it yet again and barely picks up the first down. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Neutral zone infraction, number 90, defense, the penalty is declined. First and ten from the Grizzly, 12 yards. Down, let's stop it right here. Six. Number 42 gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 41 makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Sam Miles tried to bullet it to his man, but he just doesn't have the kind of power in his arm he needs. Third and five. Let's go, D! That's what we stand for! I'm back! I'm back! Miles throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped! Incomplete! Fourth down coming up. Al Gibson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. He's back to attempt a field goal from seven yarder. Brock on the hole.
Frazier with a 24-yarder and puts it through. It's good. Andre Frazier kicked that one so wide, it almost hit the upright, but luckily the kick was good. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. Sorry. Frazier kicks it off. Willis fields the kickoff at the 8th. Tackled at the 27. Chad Willis tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Grizzlies comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. Tate, the Grizzlies, take their first time out. continue to run. Number 70 all down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum. That'll be his first sack of the game. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Number 17 makes the catch on the right sideline and they get the first on third and long. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The away team are out in front, 11-3. to three. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The away team should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 42 found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. That set up an automatic 21-yard field goal. The away team get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Grizzlies, midway through the first, the ball at the 37-yard line. Simon is going to come up with a big play here on the deep ball. Have a look. That set up an extra point like 19-yard field goal. Now early in the second quarter, game tied, 3-all. Miles would draw back and deliver a strike on this one. The Grizzlies, middle of the second, Townsend would break through with a big play here as he shot through the line and was able to wrap his man up in the end zone for a safety. The Grizzlies trailing 5-3. to three. Miles is back to throw as they want to air it out here, and this one is right on target. That set up a 40-yard field goal. Late into the second quarter, the ball at their own 42. Number 42 got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. That set up a short 25-yard field goal, and that's where we'll have to leave this one. The away team are holding on to a lead, 11-3. Nice job, Dan. The away team will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 11-3. to three. Let's go down to the field. The Grizzlies are set for the kickoff. Number 28, back to his seat. Kennedy boots the second half kickoff away. Number 28 fields the second half kickoff at the 11. Drag down at the 32. 
Number 28 took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The away team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 32-yard line. Catches the left sideline, and he picks up nine. Sam Miles made a good, clean throw. That's a textbook play executed perfectly. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 42 gains three yards, and that brings up first down. Number 42 goes right up the middle and heads out right. Drag down at the 49. Number 42 got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Third down, both wide outs to the right. From the Grizzlies, 49 yards. Don't let him get away, baby. Don't let him get away. Aye, aye, aye. Switch. Switch. Robinson tackles him for a short loss. That will bring up fourth down. Kevin Robinson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Number eight gets ready to punt it away. Lewis is deep to receive. Number eight gets the snap and punts it away. Willis fields it at the 12. Drag down at the 16. Chad Willis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Grizzlies take the field and will start out at their own 16-yard line. Number 28 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 28 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, oh, no. 10 yards Second to go. From Rick Grizzly, 16 yard line. Tate picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Lance Tate used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Brooks got hit as he threw that one, and that will be an incomplete pass. 
That will bring up fourth down. Warren Brooks took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number three lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Number 28 makes a fair catch at the 48. 49 yard line. The away team offense First takes the ten. field and they are already halfway home. They'll start at their 49 yard line. Number 42 makes a tough catch, and that's a game of seven on the play. Number 42 made an excellent grab back there and then tacked a few more on. Great effort. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. 44 yards. Number 42 punches this one left of center and barely picks up the first down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Number 10. Had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, what's different in that range? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The D is beating them to the punch right here. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Miles throws a heater right sideline and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Number 10 made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Third and six. Number 80 snags the dart right sideline, and he will be short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 80 got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Neutral zone infraction, number 98, defense. Kenyon Pass was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. First down, three wideouts in the game. From the Grizzly, 28 yard line. Here, I'll get this down. Single back. Single back. 
Number 86 catches it over the middle, and that's good for a gain of five. Number 86 easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. These guys make very great targets, not to mention it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number 86 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. It's about time. Three incompletions in a row before they finally connect. Now, perseverance can be both a blessing and a curse. They finally got that one to him, but boy, did it take some effort. Number 97 takes him down back at the 10. Number 97 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Number 42 gets the handoff and gets taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Number 41 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. Seven on the play. Number 97 sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. Three stops in a row. What a defensive stand. That's big time play right there. Fourth down, goal to go. They'll come in to attempt a field goal from the 18 yard line. Brock will hold the kick. Frazier picks it from 35 yards and puts it through. It's good. Andre Frazier puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Although they get the field goal, that's the third time they've had to settle for three points from the red zone. Can't be happy with that. Nope, you always want to punch it in when you're close in like that. Frazier sends it downfield. Willis catches it back at the 8. Tackled at the 28. Chad Willis was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Ball will be placed around 28 yard line. The Grizzlies take the field, and other than a big play here and there, they have had problems. They are looking for an answer as they start at their own 28-yard line. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 26. Ground to a halt at the 31. Second and seven. Ball at the 31 yard line. Down! Six. Rip, rip! Back! Catches the lob over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. 14 yards on the play. First down, Grizzlies. Warren Brooks makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. 
Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Dan, I've seen a lot of short throws, but overall there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. First down from the shotgun. Brooks tips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Chad Willis ran open for an almost certain connection, but the pass fell incomplete. Oh, that's a big chance wasted. Another incompletion out left, and it appears that side of the field has not been kind to them at all. Not at all. Hey. they got to go somewhere else, look for a different matchup. Willis reels in the football and picks up four on the play. Warren Brooks has obviously got the arm to get the job done in tight spaces. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 49, breaks free. Leonardo Simon had the head out of bounds short of the first, and as we all know, it doesn't count if you keep running once you're out of bounds. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Fourth down, and they're going for it. They will turn the ball over at the 50. Number 45 is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down, and it's worth another look. Oh, huge tackle, huge play. They don't convert on fourth down. They really don't go anywhere on that one. Except the sidelines with their tails between their legs. They'll turn it over on downs. The away team take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at the 50-yard line. Number 42 chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. A pickup of four yards on the play. Number 59 with the tackle. Let's go! Second and six from the Grizzlies, 46 yard line. Number 42 carries it for the 24th time and picks up a couple. With the carry, he picks up two yards on the play. Number 59 with the tackle. Third down with a split backfield. Choose up nine yards, and they will move the chains. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. He gets even more yards on the ground. A productive first half, and the second half is shaping up to be just as busy for him. Until he slows down, there's no reason to change it up. Number 42 catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Number 22 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. That's and that'll do it the for the third quarter. The away team enjoying the lead 14-3.
Miles fires this one over the middle and it's off incomplete. Mike Thomas shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. The Grizzlies, 36 yards. Back at the 39. That will bring up fourth down. Kenyon pass. Set this offense back a few with that sack. If there's such a thing as anti-momentum, <laughs> they're feeling it. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number eight lines up for the punt. Oh, yeah! Did you feel that sack? Did you feel that sack? <laughs> Number eight takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Number eight saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Grizzlies are now on the field and except for a few big plays, they can't be happy with their passing game. We'll see what they call on this drive as we start at their own 20-yard line. Tate gets the call on first down and picks up eight yards on the play. Rex Williams punched through a lane for this ball carrier with that block. Outstanding. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, tight end to the left. Brooks just rifles this one, and it's off incomplete. Joe Ains has some nice room to work with in the middle, but can't make the catch. No dice. The only thing he received was an icy glare from his quarterback. No, I don't think he got that either. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third and two from the Grizzlies. Lance Tate can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. First and ten. Brooks fires this one over the middle, and it's incomplete. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Neutral zone infraction, number 70. Defense, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Number 70 had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so he got the call for a neutral zone infraction. First down with the tight end right. Ball at the 40 yard. Marino penetrates and makes the stop at the 38. Dan Marino targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Tate has his number called on second down and heads up field. Brought down at the 47. First down. The entire offense clicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Great. First and ten from the Grizzlies, 47 yards. Down! Six! Let me! 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 Let
Tate catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Lance Tate had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping second for more. Down. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Chases him down and drops him back at the 45. Tarika Jasper got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. Third and 12 from the Grizzlies, 35 yards. Number 31 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 31 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Oh, for this uh, is getting uh, ridiculous. Uh, the uh, offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Number three gets ready to punt it away. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Number 28 fields the punt at the 15. Ground to a halt at the 19. Number 28 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 19-yard line. Number 86 grabs the rope right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 86 has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, <laughs> things get broken pretty fast. Miles throws this on a rope and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 10 had two guys draped all over him, but still made a play on the ball. Great catch. When is enough enough? I mean, really? He finally corrals that last one, but only after a slew of missed opportunity. Well, I question going to a guy after so many unsuccessful attempts. Yeah. But, but they have faith in him, and it resulted in a completion that time. Figueroa throws him for a loss at the 47. Charles Figueroa targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, 12 yards to go. Miles fires this one over the middle and it's caught at the 48 and he's stopped right there. Number 10 faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Number 10 grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Number 10 has a small crowd of defenders working him, and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but... Definitely not bad. Boy, he zips through the passing lanes in those medium zones. Yeah, the defense has to try and close him out of there, or he's just going to keep on coming. Number 59 
penetrates and makes the stop at the 37. credited with the Number 59 makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got nine tackles. Number 42 gets the call again and heads out right. Tackled at the 28. Number 42 can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> third and five from the Grizzlies, 28 yard Number 42 carries it for the 29th time and gets tackled short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Al Gibson just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Oh, definitely. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. 24 yards. Frazier with the 41-yard attempt, and he knocks it through the uprights. Andre Frazier rockets his one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. Tremendous job. He's been booting them through all day today. You know, Dan, he's actually turned out to be one of the leading scorers for this team. Yeah. And he has to do it three points at a time. Exactly. <laughs> Frazier boots it away. Willis deals the kickoff at the 7. Dodges a tackle. Tackled at the 28. Chad Willis got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Grizzlies are down but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 28-yard line. Morris, time for missile and second and three from the Grizzlies, 35 yard. Brooks gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Number 28 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Number 28 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Let's go! Second and 10 from the Grizzlies, 47 yards. Brooks makes the throw after the play action fake, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Leonardo Simon had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. You know, I, I haven't the faintest idea, Peter, why they keep throwing underneath. The yards really aren't adding up. Yeah, receivers are doing what they can to catch the ball, but at some point, they got to move forward to make it worthwhile.
Blackwell makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Eddie Blackwell gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Throws a lob here, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. And he's in for the touchdown. Eddie Blackwell makes what has to be the play of the week, Dan. You know we're showing this one again. Oh, fantastic job picking off the quarterback. Then he sees his route and powers upfield to the end zone for six. You can't coach that. That touchdown will seal it, Peter. Well, barring some type of miracle, they are going to come away with this one. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Frazier kicks it away. Willis fields it way back at the 7. Drag down at the 27. Chad Willis got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Grizzlies start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 142. Number 31 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 31 knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Oh, for... This oh. is getting ridiculous. The oh. offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.38. Brooks makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 28 earned his hips to get into position and tip that ball away. Solid coverage. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Jasper makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Tarika Jasper didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Brooks gets some air under this pass and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Leonardo Simon has this one in his hands and then... 
Oh, drops it. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. The away team will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 124. Good. The Grizzlies take their first time up. Goodwin with the carry. A pickup of five on the play. Bacon with the tackle. Second down, the clock is stopped at 121. Goodwin cruises out to the left. The Grizzlies will take a timeout. That's their second. Jeffrey Goodwin played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Goodwin will get the carry on third down and the, hit. the Grizzlies take a timeout. That's their final one. Takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Second and eleven from the Grizzlies, eighteen yard line. Brock takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The away team come out on top 24 to 3. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. After driving 33 yards on 10 plays, Frazier would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 36-yard field goal. The away team now up by 11. After driving 57 yards on eight plays, Frazier comes on for the field goal try. Good spot, and this one is right through, no sweat. The away team connect for field goal number five here. Late into the fourth quarter, the Grizzlies trailing by 14. Blackwell is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The away team win big, 24 to three. Let's wrap it up by congratulating our 2K Sports player of the game. Andre Frazier had an excellent game today. You know, some guys make fun of kickers, but there's absolutely no making fun of this guy today. He kept on lining them up and knocking them down. His foot is the reason they won this game. 
For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Thank you.